Well, first of all, to Richard and Isabel, congratulations on uh, 60 years. Um, that's, 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 that's huge. We're going re to renew your wedding vows after Mass. Sorry to uh, tell a really sad story. I did one of the hardest funerals I've done in a very long time. Uh, she was just sitting right there, Carol. Uh, her husband was George. They met in Michigan. Got, got really beat up bad today, the uh, football team. They met at Ann Arbor, Michigan at a Newman Center. He dated her. He knew, met her for two weeks, started dating her, married her a year later. They were married, I want to say, 59 years. And about a week ago, 10 days ago, she died in a tragic car accident. And they were so much in love. They were so, as a priest, I love loving marriages. I love, love. If you, if you want to, not, not to impress me, you want to make me feel good, walk, with your, walk out of a mass with you holding your wife's hand. Do, me, do, do you want to do me the favor? Do it for me. Because after Mass every morning, they'd sit right there. They, would, they, they were kind to avoid me after Mass, daily Mass. <laughs> sort of a kind of a nice thing to do. Uh, it, it, that's an insider thing. If you're visiting, I didn't mean that. I'm available 24-7. Just come. Just ask. <laughs> uh, that would so they would, they would come to Mass every morning, and then they'd hold hands. He'd walk her out to the car. He'd open her car door for her, put her in a car. I would say, so I thought I'd say something witty. He was a PhD. He always said something much more witty. And uh, it was just a beautiful, beautiful marriage. And uh, it's sad. It was very sad. Um, the homily is Christ the King, Thanksgiving, and, and then the rest of my day. Uh, we're talking about Thanksgiving. So, uh, I'm so happy you're here, first of all, if you are visiting. It's great to be at Mass. There is actually no better place to be right now. Uh, the deepest part of my spirituality tells me there's nothing sensual that's going to satisfy, satisfy my soul. There's nothing earthly that's going to satisfy my soul. The love between George and Carol, there was, there was heaven in there. They were tasting and participating in a part of heaven. I remember the, the line from St. Paul, Husbands, love your wives. How? The way Jesus loves his church. See, marriage is, is, is an imprint. It's, it's a showing forth. It's a sign of the covenant God wants to have with all of us in our hearts and in our souls. Nothing sensual will ever satisfy your soul. God will. That's why we come to Mass. We come to Mass to get fed by God. The great thanksgiving. So, we'll do, God bless you. We'll do some Thanksgiving because I, I want to renew my homily because I gave it on Thursday. Father Evans was here and Father Simon, and out of deference to Father Evans, I wanted to give a short, witty, concise homily. Yeah, that didn't happen. Okay, I lied. Didn't even try. But I did, I did mention, and it, well, I, it's hard to remember Thursday. I'll just make this up as I go along, but it's true. Um, I, this, is not, this is a Thanksgiving homily. This part of the homily is about Thanksgiving, because we just had Thanksgiving. I was in Poland. I'm Polish. My mom's 100% Polish. She's probably 120% Polish, my mother. And I'm very proud. I happen to be in Poland. Left Poland, went to Rome. I'm a Roman Catholic. Peter and Paul shed their blood in Rome. I was talking to the pastor. They opened up in the catacombs of Calixtus, the tombs of the popes. Nine popes are buried there. And a, and a great little point about Calixtus, he's around 200. He was a broker, like a J.P. Morgan guy. <laughs> and, well, sorry, Citibank? I don't know. I'm sorry, I said, some guy gave me a dirty look. He might be a J.P. Morgan guy. Sorry. I, 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 Jamie Dimon, God bless him. No, the point is, he fell into debt. So what do they do in the old days if he fell into debt? They sold him into slavery. He was a slave. He bought his way out of slavery. Got back to, to main Europe, about Rome. Became a deacon. Went on to become a pope. From slavery. What's your point? Um, my heritage, my faith, America, Thanksgiving, huh? To prepare for the homily the night before I watched Patton, huh? That's a good way to prepare for a Thanksgiving. I, I, seriously. I don't know how you think about America. I see it. My father was in the Navy. My brother was in Vietnam as a Marine. I can't help but see Thanksgiving through the eyes of the military. For those who served, for those who protect us. It's a big part of my Thanksgiving to God. Thank you for making me, helping me, or, or by your, your design, making me born in the United States. If I was born in Poland, I'd be all excited about being a Pol I can't say Pol a Polish kid. I happen to be born here. I'm proud of being born here. I'm proud of my identity as an American. It's a, I'd say it's a great thing. So honor your heritage, celebrate your faith, and thank God. 
for all the blessings we got. Something I pulled out of the homily from Thanksgiving, this is, this is where I'm at. A lot of people, sorry, nobody here today. Nobody here tonight. There's sticks in the mud. They wouldn't be happy if they got a billion dollars. There are some people who just can't make them happy. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about pain and suffering and crosses. I get those. I have those. Some people just won't be happy. They won't be thankful. What keeps people from more joy? What, your amen was very good today, by the way. We're working on good. You got the trumpets blaring or glaring? Is it blaring or glaring? Blaring. Is it blaring? It's blaring. Okay, the trumpets are blaring. This is all good stuff. Be joyful. I did a wedding recently. I don't want to tell you when to give away the couple. The, the groom's father. Lighten up. It's a wedding. Okay, you don't like God. Give God a rest for a half an hour. It's your son's wedding. Leave that. I can't even use this word. We're on tape. Leave it outside. Francis, lighten up. Be more joyful. Be more grateful. I remember, oh, it was Fair Oaks. I don't have to remember. I stopped doing it, but I'm going to I'm going to redo it. I'm going to reinstitute it after communion with the people that are in the nursing home. That's my my particular nursing home. We all have nursing homes. That's where I say mass. After communion, I tell them the, the, they're older. I can call them older people. They're older, and a lot of them have physical ailments, food. You know, God bless them. Um, I say, what are you grateful for? You'd be surprised. I should record it. I should put it on YouTube. Sick people with with you know, with the conditions they have. They're grateful. They're thanking God. They thank God for Mass. They thank God for some of their family members who never come to visit them. But they're thankful, grateful people. So of all the things you're going to pray for today, ask God the Holy Spirit to awaken in you an ever greater sense of gratitude and joy and blessings. Because we're blessed. We're about to receive food from the King's table. So let's move to the next point. Above the cross, I-N-R-I. -I. There's no J in Latin. There's no J in Latin. So that reads, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. R is Rex. Rex is King in Latin. Great little story. I hope I don't get lost. Get me back to the cross. <laughs> get me back to the cross. John Paul II, when he became Pope in 78, he signed the J. And the Latin scholars came out and they got to the whoever they got to up the chain. They said, Your Holiness, there's no J in Latin. What did the Polish Pope says, say? There is now. <laughs> and he signed it Johannes Paolo to, to the Pope in Latin. The, the nails aren't keeping, keeping him up there. My sins and my shame and my guilt are not keeping him up there. The devil's not keeping him up there. It's love. It's love. He's not a king who subjects his soldiers or his servants or his followers. That is the biggest scam I've ever heard. If I give up, if I employ a little amount of discipline on my appetites, I can enjoy a banquet of spiritual delight. But I will not do it, Father. You will not tell me what to do with my body. You will not tell me what to do with my appetites. Okay, fine. Go, go, go enjoy your appetites. People stay away from Jesus Christ. They stay away from the extraordinary love that God has for us over some appetite, some addiction, some habit to generally speaking, sensual pleasure. Love is being offered to us. I'm too busy. I got things to do. I'm a very important guy. Hang on one second. That kid, God bless the kid crying. That reminds me of the tech machine. When I see people on the tech machine, it's like crying coming off the tech machine. I want someone just once to show me their tech machine and impress me with something. Just once. Oh, actually it happened once at the coffee club. When Sam, who we call Galileo, showed me how the earth moves around the sun on this computer model, I was blown away. I thought it just went around the sun. No, 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 no. The whole galaxy moves. Did you, ever see, did you ever see the model? If you haven't seen the model and you're, you have no faith, go watch the model and give me a call. It's mathematically, statistically unbelievable to watch this. Sure, it's true. The gravitational pull while the Earth is expanding. And it's moving. We're moving fast. You don't know that. Maybe you do. I don't know. 
but it was extraordinarily uh, 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 impressive from a machine. What's my point? There's so many distractions. There's so many. Th so, there's so much selfish interest. His kingship is about love. I want. I want God to rule me as king. I want Him to be king over me. I don't want to be the king. <laughs> you don't want me to be the king. I'm serious. This is it, it, the original sin of Adam and Eve plays itself out day in and day out. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not staying in my lane. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't have to go to Mass, do I? you got to go to Mass. Well, why? Because <laughs> Jesus made the whole world. He gave us everything. He gave us our arms, our, 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 our hearts, our digestive system, our eyes, our military, our country, our families, the love that George and Carol had. He gave us all that and their, and their children. He gave us all of that. What did he want to return? How about, is, is, it, is it really that, a bridge too far? Another World War II reference. Did God want a little gratitude in return? Did God want just a little respect? A little reverence? But I do, I do. Fine. You do it your way. That's, that's a bad joke. The theme song of all those who go to hell. It's a Frank Sinatra tune. I did it my way. God's got a way for us. God's got a will for us. Well, he doesn't treat us like slaves. He calls us friends. And he wants us to do this. And those of you, most of you are doing it. The vast majority of you come in, are, are here every Sunday, every Saturday night. And it's awesome that way. We should be grateful we got the faith. And I'm going to end with not picking on those who don't have it. Because it's a, it's a blessing to know what you know, to see what you see. So let's go to Thanksgiving and the cross. I, my sister, this is on tape, i got to be careful. My sister-in-law, her brother, dude, I don't, know what the, I don't know what that makes me. He retired like really high up in the Navy. If there were 20 men above, above him, under him, if there were, if there were, he's got to be like the 20th most powerful guy in the Navy. You want to ask me later, I'll give you his name. I'm not doing it on tape. He's retired. His two brothers were there. And we're talking about the church. They, they call themselves Catholic. They're, they're, they're wonderful guys. They, they're going to watch this, so i, I got to be nice. Phil and Paul are wonderful men. Their cocktails were flowing, not for Father, but you could drink around me. I'm fine with that. You know, cocktails are flowing. It's Thanksgiving. Politics wasn't a problem. We all got the same politics. But religion, we ain't got the same religion. But they're telling me about the church, this, that, and the other thing. They, they, they have a nice uh, perspective. They're very intelligent men. I finally said to them, gentlemen, did you ever notice how stained glass works? Well, what does it have to do with anything? I said, it has something to do with everything. Stained glass is not viewed from the outside. Stained glass only makes sense, even the stained glass in this church, from the inside. When the light comes through, you've got to be in the church to get the, to get the beauty of stained glass. Or you'll never get it. You'll see it from the outside. I go, gentlemen, this is not about the institutional church. This is about intimacy with Christ. This is about the love of God. This is about desiring to be a better man, a better citizen, a better husband, wife, student, child, brother. This is what this is. This isn't about your ideas or my ideas. It's about God who came to show us how to love and how to live. And he saved us by the cross. He didn't save us from the cross. I'm back to George again. Pray for George. Can you, I can't even imagine. I really can't imagine. I can't imagine being in love with a woman. For, well, I, can, I can imagine that, sorry. I can imagine being in love with a woman. But all those years of marriage, arm in arm, hand in hand, the way they shared, the way they loved. What, what a heavy burden this poor man carries. So uh, Thanksgiving, we got Thanksgiving out. Uh, pray for those who protect us. Thank the Lord we have what we have. Yes, it's not, it's not perfect. I'm not an idiot. Some may they say so. If you're visiting, you're like, this guy's totally an idiot. <laughs> no, we got problems, I got it. But we're, but we're doing well, we're growing, we're getting better, and, and praise God. Last point would be, uh, I just left the hospital. So someone called my, and, and the person, Patricia, I, she wanted me to tell her her name and all her, I go, no, there's, there's laws against that. But uh, I go to see Patricia, Patricia's dying. She's got uh, journey care hospice in the background. So whenever the priest hears hospice, that's, that's, you're actively dying. She lost 70 pounds due to some uh, liver failure, 
um, not lifestyle related, not that, not that that would matter, not that, that would not, that's not a consideration father has going into a patient's room. So I meet her best friend. She's getting some medical procedure outside the room. That's why I was late for confessions. I have a good excuse. I have a note from a priest. I'll write it. Um, so I met her best friend from kindergarten, hearing stories about Patricia before I go to meet her. I never met Patricia before. I'm going to go meet a woman in a bed who's actively dying, and I meet her best friend. And she's all teared up, and she knows how serious it is. So we walk in. Now keep in mind, if, if, you're, if you're a stick in the mud, nobody here, nobody here. If you know somebody like this, think of Patricia. I don't know how many days she has left. I don't know. She's got hours. She's got, she's got days. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. So we walk into the hospital, into her bed, and she's, they started talking about animals, like when they, were in, when they were in kindergarten. And they used to like giraffes and this and that. And she says, remember our favorite song? And Patricia, laying in bed, says, she, she, she said, and she wore blue velvet. Bobby Vinton, I know, I'm, a Pol I'm Polish. I know Bobby Vinton. <laughs> so I start singing with them. She's dying. She's singing. She's dying. She's singing. She's got faith. So I, get, I do what the priest does. Last rites, apostolic pardon, holy communion, and, and her, oh, before, he, before I begin, after we get done singing, her husband shows up. Providence. God, providence. He can be there for the ritual, the final ritual. There might be another ritual. So the husband shows up. So then we, we conduct the, the religious rites. So she closes her eyes, I give her the I give her, there's two blessings, there's the apostolic pardon in the, in the, in the, in the uh, last rites, and there's also the blessings on life and health and getting better. One, one's for you not getting better, or getting really better by going to heaven, one's for you getting better. I got, I got them both covered, okay? So what, what does Patricia do? And, and her daughter is there, one of her daughters, she has two children, one of her daughters is there. And she, it's hard to make this, communicate what just happened. She's got her eyes closed, she makes a sign of the cross, and she just starts laughing. She just starts laughing. Not, not, not like a, a silly laugh, like a serious laugh, like death is coming and the Lord came to visit me and I've been strengthened by the sacraments and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I will go into that cold, dark night, but I will not go alone. I will go with the Lord. And as long as the Lord stands by me, even though I would walk into the valley of death, I will not be afraid, for he is with me, and he is my rod and my staff, and he set the banquet before me. My friends, take this to another level. When you receive, quietly or out loud, Sing to the Lord from the depths of your soul and thank Him. And let's all pray for each other. We would develop a disposition of gratitude. Keep George in your prayers. Keep Patricia in your prayers. And keep praying. Because the more I pray, oh, last thing, the more I pray, the more I, I say my rosaries, the more I love Jesus Christ. Mary has been such a tremendous mommy to me a spiritual mother leading me always to her son who we're about to receive.